Hello everyone and welcome to Smashbox TV's game night number nine. Lucky number nine. Lucky number nine. What we're going to end up calling this is our uh, our season one finale. Yeah, I think finale is a strong term. Just season one. Yeah, this is season one. We'll come. But... We'll come back to this at, towards the end of the season. Maybe bring on some of our returning champions, and 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 maybe get a good start on season two once the disc golf starts to die down. Because all of our players now they're really starting to get ramped up, start practicing more. Some of them are even starting to travel a little bit <laughs> yeah. uh, to the different events. It's getting harder and harder to get guests. Well, tonight that means we're gonna have a little additional audience participation Woo! now typically our audience it so graciously joins in and uh drastically influences how the turnout of the uh, the voting and therefore the points and the scoring goes well tonight you could be one of those contestants instead or or <laughs> we just go you against me <laughs> <laughs> no i think you need uh you, you have to have more than two people oh okay well good uh, so tonight we're going to have, uh, you're going to be able to play along with us. Hopefully you're going to uh, not only submit some amazing answers, but also you will be able to uh, directly influence it, like I said, all of the outcome of this. So um, in just a few moments, we're going to give out the code and this will really become uh, kind of a first come first serve. Um if you want to play along, you just simply punch in the code and you'll be along and in, in the action. Uh, a couple of quick things, uh, a little bit of housekeeping, I guess we'll, we'll call it. Uh, first of all, it's been a lot of fun doing this. Uh, I feel like yeah. we're already closing the show before we're opening, but I just want to say it's been a lot of fun doing this. Are you going to get teary? Uh, nope. Uh, we have <laughs> had uh, the opportunity, and besides having something else to do during this uh, this COVID pandemic, and trying to provide a little bit more entertainment, I feel like it's also given us an opportunity to pull back the curtain a little or, or shed some light on some of the personalities within our sport. And not only does our podcast have that attempt, and I feel like we're able to do that, but I feel like in a little bit more even jovial setting and a situation where people can let their guard down a little bit, uh, we saw some pretty... <laughs> Some pretty funny <laughs> answers from people you wouldn't have necessarily expected them to come from. Uh, uh, Noemi Bjorkis is one that comes to mind who was a Rock dominator. Star. Yeah, a dominator here on the show. And uh, just thinking back to some of the things that she had entered, uh, that alone makes me chuckle. So, uh, well, And I just think of watching some of our players not only just learn how to play, but learn how to play well. You know, yeah. you can you can give an answer. And it might be a little funny, haha, clever to you, and the audience gives you nothing. Yeah. You might come up with something that most of us don't find clever, but the audience loves. And learning the uh, the bend of our audience, I will say, <laughs> how it, you know, there, there's a few key ways to get some points. We know that. Yes, there are. And uh, there is a few special guests out in the audience. Uh, and if they wanted the, the I'll, I'm going to call it a special nod because we know them a little bit better and they're incredibly supportive. I see Chris Cobb out there in the audience. I also see none other than Chasing the Bees. Well, and uh, both of you individuals have been so supportive, not just of Smashbox, but also of the things I've been doing within my post-production career, my vlog career. Uh, if you two, we, we could find a way to guarantee the two of you to get in. Reach out to Terry real quick here and, yeah, we, and on, we'll, get you that, we'll get you that code. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, and look for some uh, more stuff from Chasing the Bees. Uh, quick plug for him. Disc golf poetry, uh, humor, disc golf media, comedy. He's got a little bit of he, everything. He's good with words. I don't think I want him to play. That's a good point. <laughs> Never mind. I'm going to give you the wrong code on purpose. Actually, here's what I'm going to do uh, for him. I'd like to give him the four digit or the four alphanumeric code letters. Mm -hmm. But he's got to figure out which order they go in. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> but in all seriousness, um, yeah, you're right. He might not be a good person to, to officially no, have joined us. He'll be a great so person smart. to have on. <laughs> uh, I'm going to send him the code right now so that uh, we can get that moving. 
right. Jason B says that's cold. Yeah. Well, well you, know, you know, just like at a you're tournament, you're gonna make us look dumb. Well, at a tournament, the number one rule is you you don't bring or convince somebody better than you to come to the tournament with you because they're gonna show up and they're likely gonna beat you. Same concept here. We don't want to bring really smart linguistic people onto the show. I just signed up for a tournament too. Wow. Greater Milwaukee Open. All right. Been there, ran that. Yep. Yes, yes. I signed up in the uh, Advanced Masters field, which wow. is a pretty small field. I, uh, I'm, it depends. That's where the, that's, I, I was thinking up. about covering that. Oh, that's good. You should. You should. <laughs> uh, I, I might bump up to Advanced. We'll see how the field looks in, in the next week or so. But okay. Open oh, and Open oh, Master and it, Pro it, Master uh, both yeah, it didn't look like it was that appealing to me. Wow. Okay. And not because of the people. Well, somewhat. Because, no, I'm just kidding. Not because of the people. Uh, just in general, the quality. The the Pro Masters, they've got a couple of ringers in there, some mm. local guys who are just really good, and the field is small, so it doesn't wow, benefit you're... me at all. And Open would be fun to play just because I haven't played Open in a while. Um, advanced, I don't know. I, I hardly know a single person in that field, so it would be not nearly as much fun for me to play. At least the Advanced Masters, I, I, I know a, a, one or two of those guys. All right, all right. Well, I am. Uh, I'm just double checking that we got everything set. I've sent out a few messages, uh, and some people have said, "Well, I haven't seen how the game is played." It doesn't matter. You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. You basically you'll you'll get asked a question, and then you have to fill in a blank or complete a sentence, complete a thought, something of that. Come nature. up with a funny answer, yeah, and then everyone votes on it. It's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. Terry, why don't simple. you log in? All right. Oh, that's a good call. I want to make sure that I can get in on the action myself. Yeah, so then I can show it to the crowd, and hopefully we can get some people in. Now, the way the game is played, if you guys go to jackbox.tv, that's J-A-C-K-B-O-X.tv, uh, and wait for a code, we're going to take the first couple people that come in, and we'll see what uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. I am sending a couple of more. We are pretty close to ready to go here. As Johnny just said, oops, I'm giving out the code to people, but they don't know where to go. And you just mentioned Jackbox. Jackbox.tv. On your uh, mobile or your browser. I may uh, have to switch to a mobile device at some point here tonight. I did not bring my battery charger. Rookie uh, move. Yeah, I know. All these years, and I, I've only probably done that maybe twice. You should have a spare one just for my house. I know. I used to for my old computer. That would be a good Which idea. Which was the same computer. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't no, that wasn't a spare one for that uh, one, though. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't think. All right. I'm going to show everybody the code. So Here we go. If Guys, if you got that code and you want to join in, come in fast. Again, you're going to uh, jackbox.com. TV is where you're going to head. We've got you... Webb, Chasing the Bee, Fister. And we're waiting for three more players to join. And the first, as soon as three players join in and decide they want to play, we will get this party started. It's going to be wild. That's how it goes, right? Yeah, wild, wild. up in here okay. tonight yeah. for sure. <laughs> Dancing. I got to no. get back. All right, Chris. Uh, I don't know if you're in there, Chris, but... Uh, looks like you might be. I hope so, because we're seeing players jump in now. We need one more player. There we go. 40G, Tinesque, Hunt, Fister, Chasing the Bees, Web, DG Guy, and Johnny V. Let's, I'm going to just a couple more seconds. We have a couple audience members that are participating. Sorry, guys, in the audience. If you wanted to get in and didn't, uh, a little bit faster on the fingers, maybe your little secret. There's always season two. There's season two, and a little secret is uh, if you watch out on Twitch, the latency is always just a second or two ahead. You might get that extra jump. Ooh, I like I'm it. Just, just saying. But if you don't like to, I get it. You can always give us your Amazon Prime sub on Twitch, though. All right, let's go. Everybody's in, and we're going to play this game. Remember, I don't think I need to explain the rules, but you're going to get ans asked two questions. You need to submit an answer for each. You have a time limit, and we will uh, vote. Everybody will vote on the winners, on who they think has the best answer. Here we go. So again, I hope we're not hope we're not taking too many viewers away from the Matt and Nick show. Uh, <laughs> I think they're done? they're they pro they're done. probably done by now. I'm calling them done. <laughs> All right, you're going to be asked again two questions. Answer them to the funniest or cleverest of your abilities, or serious. I guess you could go whatever your route you want, but you'll have about 45 seconds to answer both questions in total. So. 
Uh, 45 seconds to get through both of them, and you should be seeing a question appear on your screen in just a few moments if you're playing along, and then the audience at home will also get their own question. All right. All right, the audience play along. What the Statue of Liberty is hiding beneath that robe. That's a good one to censor. <laughs> All right, hopefully everybody in the audience is going to play along with us tonight. Play some little bit of music in the background. We got about 20 seconds. Everyone submitting their answers. Looks like everybody got to them pretty quickly. Yeah, we're waiting on one yet. Enter in something. Fister, Fister gets nice something job, in Fister. at the last moment. And now you, we will read through these questions as they're matched up one against another, and we get to vote on them. First question, or sentence to complete, Elvin and the Chipmunks, 12, Clappin' Cheeks, or Simon's Revenge? Hmm. That's a tough one. I like Clappin' Cheeks. Yeah, that's a uh, that's just a tough one to get started a little, with. A little risque, but... We'll be all right there. Wow. Clapping Cheeks takes the contestant vote, but does not take uh, necessarily the audience <laughs> vote, but contestants outweigh it in this one. All right. The next one, a strange thing for a ghost to whisper in your ear. Nice. Or what's the most stable disc in your bag? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. I would have gone maybe with. What did you just throw there? <laughs> uh, do ghosts cause wind? Um, I, you would have to think so. I mean, oh, Fister, getting it, getting at it with that one. All uh, right. Oh, Chris, that is Chris Cobb. Okay, nice Good, one. Cobb. I was gonna ask for uh, who's who's everyone's name here. Go Why ahead. is the red panda so red? Because he finished War and Peace. The color red? <laughs> I don't know if I get the, the color red one. <laughs> oh, I take that one, though, because he finished War and Peace. Johnny V, nice one. Why are you chuckling at the color red one? Uh, I just, uh, I, I, I don't know. These questions are all uh, a little bit different tonight. A good Feels joke like. to say while well, you're tied up in a basement. Why did the chicken cross the rope? Tie me up from 30 feet so I can practice putt. Mm -mm. That's a lot of leeway. If you're tying somebody up 30 feet. I, I, I feel like it, yeah. I guess it depends how big your basement is. <laughs> well, and I also feel like I read it wrong. I didn't read it as a good joke to say. Oh. And said you just said something like, good, yeah. something good to say. Well, you won anyway. Beaten. Oh, chasing the bee. Next one up, the worst song to lose your virginity to. In the arms of an angel or happy birthday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it depends on which birthday it is. Uh, that's true. <laughs> or who's singing it. <laughs> uh huh. Hmm. Uh -huh. I appreciate both of those answers. Johnny awesome. V getting it. Wow. Yeah, taking <laughs> a happy birthday. Nice work. I couldn't think of anything else at that point. I, I, 
I, I don't believe the other I, one didn't get more. I wanted votes, to go. Honestly. She's only seventeen from Winger, but <laughs> uh-huh. that, that, again, that, that that that's not the worst one in the world. Snow White's biggest complaint about living with the seven dwarfs: they are always peeking under her dress, or no astro glide. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I feel comfortable answering this one. No. All right. uh, If you guys can, if it's within you, uh, I'd love to know who Hunt and Tinesk are. I think we've uh, figured out and know who Chris and Chase and the Bees. Throw it up on the chat board. We'll we'll hop in there. Or you don't have to let us know. Uh, If you just want to be. I'm just nosy. If you just want to be quiet about it. The scariest challenge that was never done on Fear Factor. Pubic hair braiding. Listening to Steve Dodge commentate. <laughs> uh, yeah. Birdie! Birdie! Uh, yeah. Smack gap. Yeah, he had all sorts of... He, uh, he had all sorts of good lines. They're almost crumpisms, but not quite. Oh, wow, look at that. That's a split right there, there for Chase is. and the B and Webb. What trees think when we take their sap? Suck me dry? <laughs> Sorry for the answer. Or, oh, you like my sap? You sticky, dirty boy, you. <laughs> I like both of those. <laughs> yes. Both of those are good because they're just on that right level. Uh-huh. They're just on the right level of inappropriate. Oh, I like you that. like my sap? You sticky, dirty boy, you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's great. Oh, that's, right. I'll oh, that take was it. You. That oh, was look me. Look at you. Look at you, Terry Miller. I will take it. DG guy. Dirty little sapling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the end of round number one. All right, round one in the books. Round two will be very similar in nature. After we take a look at the scoreboard here, T. Nesk out in the lead. Followed up by DG Guy and Johnny V. So nice job, T. Nesk. We're going into round number two where the points are doubled. All right, we got Ryan Hunt and Tyler Nesky. It says self-explanatory. You're right. The audience play along is the worst job title that starts with assistant the worst job title that starts with assistant Uh, got a little self chuckle going on uh, there. Same here. That was I was doing the same thing as I was. Well, I wonder if we maybe had the well, could be any question. It could be. We'll see if they go head to head by chance. We've got about fifteen seconds. Yeah, that was actually a pretty quick response for me. Yeah, normally you're usually one of the last. We got ten seconds, so we're looking for a couple more answers from three of the guys. Remember, if you don't have a good one, you can always do the safety quip. Which just randomly puts in a few words for you, and it may or may not make sense. Uh, We missed two of them, but hopefully they got some words in there that can be taken. All right, off to our second set of questions. A rejected church hymn. Swing low, sweet secretariat, or sweet old man balls? Swing low, sweet secretariat. I like that one. Wow. Uh, How crazy is that? Audience goes with old man balls, as they usually do. (laughs) But secretariat. You you are an old man balls kind of crowd. They they definitely, most of them will be at some point. The worst person to be on a plane with would constantly sing falsetto 80s songs under their breath. Put their hand on your wife's lower thigh. <laughs> uh, I might, I don't know, if singing falsetto to 80s songs, I might sing along I, at I some point. I was just going to say, I think I would like that. Yeah, just, you know, kicking out some warrant or some 
Motley Crue. She's only 17. <laughs> yeah, see, I got Warrant. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got Winger on the brain. All right. Sing falsetto to uh, 80 songs. Takes it down. Remember, when dining at a sushi restaurant, you should never, ever ask for it well done or ask for it well done. Is that the one you chuckled at or no? Y- no. Me neither. But we literally answered the exact same thing. Huh. That's never happened. It's That's- a jinx. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. I don't have any coke. Ah, yeah. <laughs> a terrible thing to tell your kid when the dog dies. <laughs> it was your fault or it wasn't your fault. It was your mom's. <laughs> uh, both are scarring. That is crazy that we literally. Had the exact did, same Is that the answer. one you chuckled at? No. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll see if our other one goes head to head. I, I doubt it would, but. Oh, wow. Nine games in and Johnny and I. We're have literally the exact same answer. That's crazy. I wonder how that gave points, if any. I think it just split it evenly. Just, I think it just jinxed it. And maybe- Tip. Take your large movie theater beverage cup home and use it for cup stacking. <laughs> I like that. Good answer. It's a good one. Oh, he's getting the big bonus right there. No, I don't think you get a quiplash when you don't go up No, but, but he gets oh. all 2,000 points. Oh, okay. Why Wolverine can't make a relationship work. The nails aren't the only things that are sharp. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, where does that adamantium? Eesh. Come on, T-Ness. Uh, does that mean we're go- we might be going head-to-head soon? Maybe. No? An awkward thing to shout while bouncing on a trampoline with your friend. You're not wearing underwear, huh? <laughs> Can you see how much my balls... Can you see how much my balls bouncing? <laughs> Someone typed that awfully fast because they reversed some letters. Uh... Is one of these yours, Johnny? Yeah. Okay. Then then we are not going head-to-head in the next question. Mine was, you're not wearing underwear, <laughs> huh? <laughs> uh, sorry, Chasing the Bees. Well-liked. Johnny's was well-liked. Nice work. Thank That's you. That's a quiplash. Mm. Chasing the Bees. Come on, man. The sequel to Shakespeare in Love would be called Shakespeare in Quarantine or... Another divorce, losing half his shit again. <laughs> smells down here. It certainly does. Like, nasty. As soon as this is done, I'm going to check on something. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as this game is done. Yeah, it does not. There is a... Uh, unpleasant scent that has strongly come about here in the last few moments and it's not johnny v getting his ass whooped no but it kind of smells like ass <laughs> <laughs> all right t nask falls out of the lead fister in first with 4700 points all right round three might be a little bit different in that it could be a word bubble you possibly have to complete it might be an acronym that you have to fill out and it's exactly that, an acro lash. Here we go. Let's rock this one. Come up with a full name for this acronym, F-D-T. All right, FDT was the acronym. A few of them that have popped up. <laughs> Fast Disc Throw, Fiddle Diddle TD, Flush Duty Toilet, Free Doritos Tacos. Go ahead and vote for your top three that you find out here 
Vote for your top three. Ooh, there's some smell there. Hmm. F D T. And what it will do is it'll calculate all of the votes. And then this will ultimately determine our champion here tonight. And we'll see how things stack up. And T Nesk just wow. killing, killing it here tonight. One. Looks like easily going to be taking down game number one. With the 4,000 points there, and T Nesk, who I believe was in the lead going into it. I have to say, a. Oh, four don't touch. I like that one coming in from the crowd. Oh, just edging him out. That's me. Wow. All righty. <laughs> No idea what's going on here, Johnny? Is this, uh, is this smell coming from somewhere within your house? I think it is. Sure. Now, I think my daughter just got done out of the, uh, the bathtub, drained the tub, and I think there's an issue with the sewer pipe that maybe when it flushed it down, some of the sewer gases came back up in. Because mm. that's, a, that's a smell. Yeah. Ooh. If my eyes start watering, everyone uh, will know. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> wow. It is a... Um, Okay, that's 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 a game. That's a fun. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. All right, guys, uh, we are done with game number one. We're going to move into game number two. We're, Typically, we play three of them. I think we're going to do two games. Okay. And then we're gonna we're gonna do new players. We're gonna allow some new players to jump mm. in if they want. So if you didn't get in on the first round, uh, feel free. Just hang out one more game, and we will make sure to get you in on the second one. All right. So this round, we'll give everyone a little uh, opportunity for redemption. Payback, whatever you want to call it. And here we are for Quiplash number two. Oh, look at all those players. Look, look at all those players. Looking at each other like, huh? Like, come on, come on, let's go. All right, here we are. Round number one is popping back up. No, I hope it's not flood number two. It better not be. Mm. <laughs> all right. All right, our audience question is a weapon that should be added to the game of Clue. There we go. Who won that first game? Sorry, I didn't get a chance. Uh, I did. Oh, jeez. Come on, people. We can do better than that. We just need smarter people in on our second <laughs> round, our second game. <laughs> so you're saying you need smarter to defeat me. I'll take that. That's a compliment. Gotta bring in the heavy artillery. Arti Ar <laughs> yeah, smarter people. Ar 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 armory. <laughs> Art artillery. How do you say it? Wow. I know. Ar artillery. Artillery. That's what I said. No, you didn't. You threw like <laughs> an extra right. er in there. Artillery. Uh, control, shift, alt, plus six is the little known keyboard shortcut to do this. Meet Terry's barber or hide the porn on your computer. <laughs> it was, in fact, what, National Sex Day yesterday? Was no, it? two days ago. Tuesday night when we were here. Oh. 
June 9th. It wow. was. I, I, it took me a second, but I got it. I'm like, yep. I'm like okay. Yep. That, that was a thing, though. What a turtle looks for in a mate. A shell that can take a hard knocking. One with a hard shell. Mm. Similar. Very but different. Mm, which one which one do I like better? Is one of these yours, Johnny? Nope. Sometimes just a little bit of uh It's just the wordplay. Yep. Oh just wow, that's a play. quip lash. Ouch. Sorry, Hunt. Ah, uh, that T that's gonna put T Nesk way up there with such a great answer. Super quip lash. Bonus action. What's the boogeyman's part-time job? The boogeyman as well. He's a jerk. Or the bogeyman as well. Sorry, thank you. The, the bogeyman as well. He's a jerk. Wow. Or Kleenex wow. distributor. <laughs> Both those are really funny. Oh. Up against chasing the bees. And manage to take it down. I had to really think about that, his answer for a second before I got it, though. Which one? Uh, Chasing the Bees, the uh, Kleenex distributor. Oh, yes. A weird plan for saving the manatees. <laughs> Give them guns or manatee rodeo fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> both. I like them both. Uh, they Can are I, I can't answer both of them. Are, those are both very clever. I like the Manatee Rodeo, though. I think that's a good one. <laughs> Funny, you and I go with that one. Uh, looks like we got a split, though. And then they tie it The off. audience takes the Rodeo. <laughs> How Papa Smurf plans to spend his retirement. Refinish JVD's basement <laughs> or seeking out Smurfettes in other galaxies. that the music was still on oh well it just keeps going it does i have it on a loop all right me up against fister and that's another gonna split. be a split another split fister gets the audience favorite but wow good thing is i think the smell is dying off down here a little mm, bit that's either that or me dying all right what makes hobos so sexy the wispy underwear they wear or <laughs> Their underwear hasn't been washed in years. Hobo underwear. That's what this is about. <laughs> yeah, that's um, that's one of the more interesting questions from uh, from Quip last year. It is. Sorry, chasing the bee. Maybe I should be writing the poetry. <laughs> oh dang! Uh, just teasing. I'm no good at poetry. Dude, can you really be bad at it though? Yes, you truly can. <laughs> All right, the least popular scented candle smells like <laughs> my base. <basement>. Uh, yep, <laughs> I, I knew I knew where this was going. That didn't take much. Uh, yeah, the least. Uh, yeah, that it would honestly it would be up there with the least. Uh, <laughs> it, it definitely would be up there. Oh, again, it's just the matter of phrasing. Sorry, 4DG. Mm -hmm. There's a super quip lash for Johnny V. That's not for me. I didn't get that. Oh, no. Oh, no. sorry. Oh, for your stinky basement. This is for my stinky basement. <laughs> the three ingredients in a drink called the Chicago. Expensive beer, expensive whiskey, expensive <laughs> bourbon. I don't know. Or whiz. <laughs> hmm. At least one gave us three answers. Sorry, Webb. I think you ran out of time. Fister just, he liked it. He's like, oh, I'm good with Wiss. <laughs> Wiss. Wiss. I'm good with that one. As we move on to round number two, we'll take a quick look at the leaderboard here. How are things going to shake out? Oh, Tinesk in the lead. Johnny V. A thousand points behind him. Wow. Well, a super quiplash will do that. All yeah, right. We're moving into round will. two. You'll again be asked two questions, very similar to what you just saw in the first round. 
And we do, as always, have an audience question. The crime you would commit if you could get away with it. The crime you would commit if you could get away with it. Fister was very quick. 4DG answering his. Johnny V is in as well. Take a look out at the chat right now. Chasing the Bee says it's time to redeem himself. Well, not off to a great start. Yeah, it was awful, like the smell in my studio. There's a lot of pressure here, Chasing the Bees. I mean, <coughs> you're a wordsmith. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness! Did you just get it in? We shall see. We shall see! Round number two. The only thing that can survive nuclear war are cockroaches and blank. Terry's disc collection? An orange colored person. Terry's disc collection or an mm. orange colored person? Like an Oompa Loompa? Maybe like an Oompa Loompa. Or maybe a president? Or Mr. Cheeto? President of Oompa Loompas. <laughs> Terry's disc collection seems to have taken that one down. Let's hope it survives S nuclear war. Score of seven to three. All right, next question. An item that never sells at a garage sale. Those tidy whiteies with the skid marks or crusty socks? I almost put the garage yeah that uh that would have made sense but i thought that was gonna be too easy and maybe somebody else was gonna do that wow and i thought yours was the tidy whities answer actually it's not it was not nice job tinesk taking that one from me if you really want to waste your one phone call in prison call Steve Rico, he never answers it. 8675. <laughs> Called Jenny? <laughs> uh. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, Is one of these yours? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Doesn't have to be. 8675309. Yeah. I knew that one was coming. Uh, is that going to be a tie? Tie. Wow. I, I like yours way better, Webb, uh, for what it's worth much better mm -hmm. the new uh, a new name for bananas <laughs> tcd's tasty tripping device or mold hammocks <laughs> wow <laughs> i like mold hammocks right. that's what i want i guess half your bananas tend to end up that way my wife yep. is just like oh they'll be banana bread don't worry mm -hmm. did you say she make it yeah sometimes <laughs> so 50 percent of that time <laughs> exactly Wow, I was uh, one of the few that uh, liked uh, TD, TD, Tasty TD, Tripping TD. Device. That's a mouthful. I tripped up the stairs today, which was great. Oh. Terrible advice from your driver's ed instructor. R stands for race, or <laughs> this here opens your beer and this holds it. <laughs> <laughs> R stands for race. <laughs> I like the thought of that. Okay, R, and then slamming it backwards. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, and it's going to be very close. Oh, I think t -Nask is winning it yeah, with the audience. Take that one down. Nice work. All right. Coming up next, spell out the sound a fish hitting a person in the face makes. Flip, flip, or skadoosh. Hmm. Is 
For those onomatopoeias? Yeah, those would be onomatopoeias. Johnny V going up against Skadoosh. Oh. Wow, and I liked yours, Johnny. Oh, well, I appreciate it, but Hunt takes me down. Well done, Hunt. I, I thought of like the flip, flip, flip yeah. kind of. That's that was my thought. But Skadoosh works. The Wicked Witch of the West's biggest annoyance with her flying monkeys. E. <laughs> Both flinging and falling poop everywhere. Speaking of flinging and falling poop. <laughs> Well, is uh, I had one answer in there, and then at the last second I went to change it, and then it kicked me out. That was a pretty bad time, considering I deleted the entire answer that I had. Mm. That's frustrating. Can't say I've done that before. All right, everybody who buys a jet ski gets a personal card that says this. Water not included, or save the manatees. <laughs> I feel like we have a theme here tonight. <laughs> Chasing the bees on the board says, Oh, wife saying goodnight made me miss answering. Wives. <laughs> wow, wives. Tell me about it. Everyone went with water not included. Sorry, Webb. Chasing the bee, redeeming himself a little bit on that answer. Getting the quiplash. No, oh, and what should be my lowest score ever for a round since I <laughs> didn't answer one of them. You didn't answer? Well, oh. I put E. Oh, oh you were was... the one that put E. Yeah, so that kind of sucked. That did. That does suck. We're looking at round three right now, though. All right, round three, the last lash. Like I said, it could be... Uh... An acronym like it was last time. It could be uh, complete the sentence or thought. It could be filling in as a word bubble. And it looks like come up with a new snack food with this word in its name. Mule. Hmm. Eight seconds. All not, right. Not liking my answer. Yeah, I'm only. Um, I don't love my answer. That was uh, that was one of the tougher ones with that. I think so too. I think so too. So some of the answers: mule tracks, definitely not raisins. Mule scat crisps, mule jerky, mule dingleberry trail mix, mule it over and just buy it, mule flavored cotton candy with nuts, mule pops. Eat my mule. All right, go ahead and vote on your three favorite. Now I miss the music, Johnny. You got me hooked on it. It's still there in the background a little bit. Award your medals, and in a few seconds after everyone has voted, we will tally up the scores here. Johnny V looks to be out in the lead really? with one of the better answers. Mule tracks definitely not raisins. Wow, yeah, I yeah. didn't, I didn't love it. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, mule pops. That's that was my favorite. My, oh, I'm taking mule, mule flavored cotton candy with nuts. I think that was my third answer. All right, Johnny V with the most points. We'll see how he shakes out. Will we have a smash box Ooh. sweep here in the first two games? No, 40G take me down by 40 points. Ouch. Ugh. Ouch. That is one vote away. One audience vote. One vote away. One audience vote away. Ugh. Killing me, folks. Wow. And uh, that 
this uh, 4DG was uh, 90 points higher than last game's uh, high score that I had. All right. Well done. Very nice work, everyone. So now you're saying you want to switch things up a little I, bit. You want to boot these losers. Well, they, some, if, they, if they got fast fingers, they can come back. All right. So everybody get your fast fingering ready, as I like to say. So everyone go to jackbox.tv. And oh, oh, yeah, let me make sure I get in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See if you can beat we're gonna, Tarion. We're going to generate a new code. All right. So I'm going to show everybody the code now in just a couple seconds. Here we go. So everybody get ready. Johnny V is about to show the code. Do you want me to audibly read it off as well? Sure. Do? All right. So here we, here go. we go, folks. M M M K. M M M K. 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 Chris okay. Cobb, thank you for joining. Uh, South Park That was character. fun. Thank you for letting okay. me play. No, we're uh, super glad that you could join us. So if you guys, if, we'll see who else gets back in. We got a new player, Cash. Welcome, Cash. Good to see you. Nice job, for disc golf. M M M K. And if you guys played before and you want to play again, you yeah, you can, can get back. You're in. welcome Fister's to come back. Coming in. back for more. Everybody's welcome back in. We just figured we'd give some other people a chance. To... Hunt is back for more. We got Brog, Bison, Whiskey Cat, and Brog. Bison. Whiskey Cat. All right. All right. I like it. Looks like we got a little bit of a different group here. We got Fister and Hunt are returning competitors. And it uh, looks like we have four other new competitors. Brog, Whiskey Cat, Bison, and Cash. Either that or you guys came up with new names. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of clever, too. After some of those performances, that would be a good idea. Yeah, chasing the Beast is really Whiskey Cat this time. <laughs> uh, All right. I'm going to do everybody's in. We're going to play some more here. All right. Here we go. One more game at least. I think we can do two more. Oh, we can maybe do two more. Depends it, if we win or not. We it depends if your battery top. lasts. Yeah, how much longer? <laughs> Ooh, not looking good. No? <laughs> no. Yeesh. Maybe we'll only get one in. All right. Here we go. Or we make Terry jump to his phone. Ooh, that would be a whole different challenge. Well, you know. <sighs> here we go. I'll open up a new browser for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that works. All right, everybody. Good luck, but not too good. Yeah, don't be too smart on us. Round number one. We all know how to play. The audience question, the play along question is, write a newspaper headline that will really catch people's attention. Thirty-five seconds. Mm. Thirty-five seconds. Oh, Tyler Nesky had played during the test stream for Game Night. One of our very first nights in the after wow. show, probably. Awesome. Well, thank you, Tyler. Chasing the bees says he's going to go work on his homework. Thanks again. Oh. I, I gave him some homework to do. Uh, we're going to look for something uh, on social media. Oh, really? On one of my posts here cool. soon. Yeah. All right. To become a billionaire in mere days, simply rob a bank or be a great person. there's a better chance of me doing one versus the other uh, more than likely <laughs> brog says rob a bank hunt says be a great person <laughs> <laughs> wow does that say something about society <laughs> zero votes i zero. i feel for you hunt i love you uh, mm -hmm. but uh yeah all right the eiffel tower would be a lot cooler if it had two arms and a torch or a disc golf course. The 
Eiffel Tower. It would be a lot cooler if it had two arms and a torch or a disc golf course. I, I, I was going to guess where this was going. Yeah. Fister with a disc golf course. Solid answer. More than likely. I like two arms and a torch. I thought yeah. that was funny. Not apparently as good as a disc golf course. Forget hamster balls. Modern hamsters get around in hamster hovercrafts <laughs> or hoverboards or hooverboards. Hovercrafts <laughs> or hooverboards. <laughs> I'm assuming you meant hoverboards, but I'm gonna go with yeah. That would that would be probably more likely. Vacuum boards of some sort. I don't know. Yeah. Spe uh, oh, and even with the misspelling, I'm gonna barely. <laughs> that was that you did out. hoverboards. That was me. Oh jeez. I almost changed it to something SpaceX related, and I didn't know if that would uh, that would win over the, like the sentiment or not. Little hamster Teslas or something. Yeah. The last person you'd want to be on a lifeboat with, <laughs> Donald Trump. Joe Biden. Wow. Whoa, jeez. Wow. Man, that's... um. That one's especially tough because I, I would think... Hmm. One's going to smell your hair. <laughs> the, the other's just going to grab you whether you like it or not. I don't know which is worse. Uh, uh, well, we, we know which way... Uh, we know which way our, our audience Audience is now. leaning here. Yeah. Congratulations, Whiskey Cat. I voted yours. The wow. last place you want to see Willem Dafoe's face. Willem Dafoe from Appleton, actually. Uh, milk carton or a museum? Hmm. Why does he spell his name wrong? I don't know. At, I don't know. He was born up in Appleton or raised up there or something. Oh, so. we? Huh. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't know. I think I knew that. I'd heard that once. Yeah. Uh, so it's Willem, not... William. It's Willem. Willem uh, That's something else I would not have thought about or realized. I guess I've never looked at the spelling of his name before. Uh, milk carton. Brog gets the quiplash. Brog. After killing Hitler, the, sec the second thing you would do with a time <laughs> machine. Be in a scene of Back to the Future. <laughs> Mix the genes of Macbeth and Climo. Wow, that sounds a little... Um... Creepy. Perverted? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you do that. I mean, it's a great idea. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I wasn't but you, but you answered it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't know how you do it. But that's what you... Well, good. You deserve to lose that one. Well done, so. Hunt. <laughs> yes, that was a very clever answer, Hunt. I like it. Yeah, I was trying to think of a way to answer that without sounding... <laughs> Just all too creepy. <laughs> well, Hands down, the worst roommate would be someone that smells like Johnny V's basement or Johnny V. Wow. <laughs> hmm. I think I'd be. I can tell you guys. <laughs> Let me tell you, as I've uh, been, been Johnny V's. You've been roommate. in my basement and you've been my roommate. Yes, both stink. <laughs> well. <laughs> Thanks, Whiskey Cat. I even answered my own basement. <laughs> Thanks. Eat it, Whiskey Cat. <laughs> Uh, you were right, though, Whiskey Cat. You were right. I'm a good roommate. Mm -hmm. The most embarrassing Google search cash has entered. <laughs> My fellow Jackbacks competitor or boogers are good. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Boogers are good. That would be a weird Google search. Uh, I mean, our booger. I suppose our <laughs> yeah, booger is good. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, and this one's very close, but Bison is going to take it down just barely. Well done, Bison. Moving on. What is that? Round number two? Is that round number one? I don't that, even know where we are. That Day was round it? number one, Terry. Okay. <laughs> oh, Brog coming out to a big lead. 2,500. That's a that's a really good score for the first round. Tomato's going to get zero in round two. Ouch, Johnny. Ouch, Brog. Johnny getting at it. All right. Here's round two where everything is doubled. Let's turn up that music. Where's the best place to hide 
from the Shadow Monsters. In a tanning salon. I like that. That's a good one. Frog is in, Bison's in, Johnny V is in. We've got 35 seconds. Terry's and Cash is in. in. Hunt and Fister are both in. Can't say that I liked it, but I was good with both of my answers this time. You did what? I was good with both of my answers. I'm, I'm content with them. Mm. The rejected name of Lake Titicaca, boob town, or breast penis? <laughs> Lake Titicaca, boob town, or breast penis? Hmm. What you guys, um... Went with a theme? Yeah. Breast penis. The better one. And you went with the other. <laughs> uh, Terry went boot town. Terry, That's pretty Terry funny. Terry Brog. Well, well done, Fister. Told you, Brog. Not happening. <laughs> if you really listen hard, you'll hear a seashell say this. You are gonna, you are gonna three putt tomorrow, or you are free. Do you want the soundtrack to this? I can get it for you. Ah, <laughs> so yes. you can play it in your I, car. I would like to put this in my... Yeah, I would definitely like to play this in my car the whole way home. And... As you should. Bison. Giving a little bit of hope over there to hunt, but otherwise Johnny V takes that one down. Yeah, I do. Yeah, you do. A did. procedure that will not even... A procedure that not even the slimmest... Slimiest? Slimiest, slimiest plastic surgeon will do. Or the slimmest. Eyes in the back of my head, eye transplant. Hmm. Again. Is that that's interesting. Whoa. What did I push? Oh, sorry. What what happened there? I hit a button and it like blocked the answer after <laughs> it must be that must be a sensor button. I didn't know what that did. Huh. Huh. <laughs> now we know. What the S in Ulysses S. Grant stood for. Sexy beast? Skirred. Sorry, whoever's answer I blurred out. Hopefully everyone had already voted by then. <laughs> Man, nine weeks in, we're just not going to get this thing figured out. Oh, no, that's why. That's what season two is for. Mm. <laughs> Tune in to see call. if we get it right. <laughs> <laughs> All new this year. Will Johnny V and Terry get their shit together? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <laughs> All right. Uh, the brand name of a patriotic line of diapers. Stars and Wipes or Stars and Brown Stripes? <laughs> uh, again. That's, you know. Mm -hmm. Very similar themes there. Yep. Me against Brog. Oh, and John. Uh, stars and Browns. Oh, the audience, oh. though. <laughs> making it. Uh, I'm oh. with the audience. I'm sorry. Whoever I blacked out their name, I think. I hope the that's worst not, like, thing to get stuck in your hair. The AirPod looking semen. <laughs> uh, ben Stiller, semen if. Ben Stiller's ear, okay. Uh, remnants of JVD's basement. <laughs> Ooh, the yeah. worst thing to get stuck in your hair. I know where he's going uh, with the reference. Something about Mary. Oh wow! You you like censor uh, out their. Apparently, actual, I censored oh, out their name somehow. Their name. I I pushed a I pushed a question mark, mm -hmm. 
and it like blocked out your name. I am very sorry. Well, it's not gonna. It, that won't affect that. No, it won't, it won't affect that. Which any. is good. Yeah. The name a Starbucks barista would write on the top for on the cup for oh, Muhammad Gandhi. Yeah, sorry, Muhammad's <laughs> Muhammad's Muhammad Das Gandhi. Wow, <laughs> dirty hippie. Uh, yes, I'm done. Das Gandhi. <laughs> Dur- mm. Dirty hippie. Hmm. Cash versus whiskey cat. I guess by some reasonable deduction, we could figure out who that, uh, who you blocked out. But yeah, who did I block out? <laughs> well, all eight names are. Well, yeah. Okay, it's gone. All right. The greatest part about having lots and lots of back hair. What is it, Tara? <laughs> Quantity <laughs> discounts on buying hair products. Or see, I, somehow I blocked it. Ouch. I'm sorry to whoever I did that to. <laughs> what We're jerk. gonna have to restart the game after this one. Uh, you, you think it would do it for the entire round? I, I had no clue. I clearly wrecked something. I'm guessing that's Chris Cops because he kept saying there's not enough time. Is that Fister? Take down the. I hope so, because him, I I, I feel bad, but mm. he at least would understand. Everybody else would be on my case. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. All right. Come up with a full name for this acronym. Acronym. Wow. We can T- talk today. TT. Well, at least it's letting him vote. <laughs> he popped <laughs> up. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, Chris. Uh, the game is rigged, says Chris Cobb. Yes, <laughs> your answers were too good. I had to block you. Oh, we got 25 seconds. Oh, no, Fister is still there. Mm. That's That's Chris Cobb. Well, hopefully it doesn't censor out your answer here. Mm, guess I'm going to. Probably will. It did. <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> All right. Turn that turn. Trouble throwing thumbers. Totally tubular tacos. Time to throw. To the top. Tiny Taco Tuesday. Top Gun Triple Threat. Mm, I'm going to vote for the blocked out answer, you, which I can't. And it won't even let you. I apologize. Apparently you don't hit that question mark button. Mm. You're a jerk. (sighs) You are a jerk. Wait. Oh, no, it's not Brog. (laughs) I was like, wait, that's Brog. (laughs) That's one way to beat him. That's one way to (laughs) to knock him out of the top. (laughs) Uh, Oh, Cody got zero. Who knew? (laughs) Uh, uh, right. Uh, Johnny V is going to have one of the better answers. It's going to be either him or Cash. And it looks like Johnny V gets second amount. Whiskey co- Cat with Tiny Taco Tuesday. I think we're going to have to start a new game to make sure he gets back in and gets his, his uh, name in there. Yes. Not me. So it is not Chris that was blocked. Nope, it it wasn't. was, in fact, someone else. Oh, I won. So that's what matters. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, I, I yeah, do. that's... Uh, all right. Good night, everyone. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Let's do new players. Hopefully, everyone can get back in. Um, <laughs> I truly do apologize for that. That is... Oh, I need to get back in, huh? Yes, you do. There's the code. All right, we're going to show the code to everybody. All hopefully, right, here we go. Get hopefully, your, whoever I blocked is able to get back in. Get your fast fingering K-B-A-J, on. KBAJ, KBAJ. I get promise your I, fast finger on. Promise I won't hit that button. This is our final game of the night. 
Unless Johnny screws somebody over again. Oh well, you know, hey, if they're gonna beat me, I'm gonna I'm gonna find a way to win. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Cash is back in and on the action. If I if I have to block you accidentally or on purpose, we'll do it. K B A J is the code. Nobody wants to join or play anymore because Johnny is <laughs> rigging the game. Four D G gets in. Fister, Whisker, Do, Brog, and Hunt. We'll see. Do hunt. All right. Looks like a, a lot of the. Uh, we'll see. If I block a lot of you similar again. players that we've seen here in the past, which is great. We'll see if I block you again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. I mean, just hit the question mark like six times. Or I whatever just. It was. Yeah. You say it like six times. Pretty soon it'll be done. Just you. Yeah. Well, like, okay. Oh, look at that great answer. Oh, geez. <laughs> he did barely <laughs> an put like anything. Super quick flash. <laughs> he swept that one, didn't he? <laughs> Oh, you uh, big jerk. Uh, I am the biggest jerk. All right, let's start this round. All right, guys. Here we go. Final round. Good luck, everyone. All right. Final <laughs> game. Round one. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. Here we go. Yeah, I've got a bunch of these little X's over here, and I accidentally clicked one, and I was like, oh, whoops. And then it turned into a question mark. I'm like, oh, I wonder if I can undo it. And I hit the question mark, and that must have just wiped him out. The audience question that we have is the audience play along. The worst thing to try to sell door to door. The worst thing to try to sell door to door. Johnny V, DG Guy, 4DG, Fister, Whiskerdoo, Brog are all in. We're waiting on two more. we got six people in the audience, but 10 seconds remaining. Or less. Uh, one of these questions was really difficult to answer. Was it? Oh. Hunt gets in. I did not like it. And we'll see who may or may not have been shut out. So here we go. Moving in. There's a secret monument in the Washington Mall. I didn't boot anybody this time. It's, the, not, it's not me. King George Monument or the Native American Monument? There's a secret monument in the Washington Mall called the King George Monument or the Native American Monument. Wow, you and I, head to head. Wow. And I did not like that question. I didn't know where to go with it. I didn't have anything what I felt was that clever. I guess I went a little more serious. Yeah, all right. Uh, did you win that one? I did. Oh. Man. Over you. You suck. All right. A perfectly good reason to walk around with a raven on your shoulder. Disc retriever or third eye? Oh, I like the third eye option. Hmm. It's a Game of Thrones reference, maybe. Oh, I thought it was an Edgar Allan Poe reference. <laughs> I don't know. Both raven nevermore. <laughs> Uh, I went with Disc Retriever, and it looks like Third Eye just squeaks that one out. Have you banned anyone yet, Johnny? I've <laughs> not, so we're we're ahead of the game. An, an appropriate song to be playing at a sperm bank. <laughs> Afternoon Delight, or Do You Believe in Life After Love? Do I like that. Believe... <laughs> I like that they put share in case you weren't sure. Uh huh. In case you weren't share. Uh, in case you weren't. Sh oh God, no. In case you weren't share. Um. Solid reference, though. I, I like both of those answers. I, I, I'm, I mean, I think Hunt is the better. Oh, it's a split. And oh, but the audience goes with Afternoon Delight. Wow. You got you and me to vote the same, but not enough. I mean, we're big Cher fans. Yeah, Behind true. this curtain, 
<laughs> three or four share posters. A get well card for someone injured by a robot. Get well soon. Stay away from Terminator or one zero one zero one one zero. Hmm. I'll kill the music for a while. Someone, a couple people are saying that it's getting. Uh, it's enough. It's enough of the oh, music. Oh, really? I like it. I, I like it too, but just a little bit. Ah, uh, Whisker yeah. Do is going to take that one. It's a clever one. I liked it, Whisker Do. Very, me. very clever. Cash, not as clever. <laughs> a good, I'm sorry, a question an insecure God would constantly ask. <laughs> you praying to me? Not the other guy? How, how's Earth doing? <laughs> Again, both very good answers. One of them's mine, Terry. Hmm? One of them's mine. I, I think I know which one is yours. Yeah, that that was that was my guess. Yep. Wow, and you barely just take it out thanks to the audience. Barely squeaking that one out. You get like six yeah, points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the next question up. Something that would be terrifying to notice in the background of a selfie. Johnny V is there creeping like always, or Nico La. As in, like Nicola, <laughs> Nico. I think that's supposed to be Nicola Castro. But. That would have that that would have been a possibility as well. So you, there's multiple plays you can go there. I'm always there, people. <sighs> he's always there, and he's taller than you. Oh so yeah, you're always, always spotting me in my damn selfies. You spot always. me no matter what. I'm not even at the house, and sometimes I'm in his selfies. Exactly. Worse than waking up next to a horse head would be opening your eyes to a Mm-mm. Johnny V hitting the question mark <laughs> or cash can't be bothered. <laughs> no answer for uh, cash there. Sorry, cash. Didn't quite get that one in on time. Got to hit that safety quip if you don't have anything else. <laughs> a really crappy young adult novel would feature a teenage girl falling in love with a Gollum or pizza roll. I fell in love with some pizza rolls myself back in the day. Mm. Tortinos. Yeah, you would. Those are some good ones. Mm. Gollum or a pizza roll? Oh, and... Audience pushes it over to Whisker Do. Nice work. Gollum's from what? Like Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Is Gollum a specific person or is it a uh, a creature like a? Uh... It's both. Gollum from Lord of the Rings was a specific person, but there are golems which are mythological creatures. Oh man! Surprised I didn't know that. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> Round number two, where all the point values doubled, including the winner bonuses. Here we go. Let's bring that music back, please. I love it. I know you do. The audience play along. The name of a shampoo for hippies. Suds Magoo. I'd just call it James Conrad. That's what I would go with. Johnny, all in. Round number two of our final game tonight. Terry, how's your battery going? It, it, it's funny. When we started the game, it said 21%. And I just checked it again, and it still says 21%. So it's just going to die at some point. <laughs> Everybody's in. Congratulations. Take down that music a bit. A job that doesn't exist, but surely would have the highest death rate if it did. Airplane blade slower downer guy. <laughs> or meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, very clever answer. Meatloaf? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a safety quip, hence Brog. Okay. Okay, good job, Johnny. Thanks. I'm going to get a quiplash out of that one. Hmm. Which doesn't ahead. seem fair when it's a... It's when a, it's a safety it's quip? Answer. Yeah, the worst thing to see while wearing x-ray glasses. Your mom's box. Another phone. Gee, or... <laughs> Nico's putting routine in slow motion. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Just like his... Uh, if it's x-rays, are you seeing his bones? Nico <laughs> just slowly... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. DG guy taking that one over Fister. I tried to help you out there, Fister, because I like the two X's. Mm-hmm. All right. The worst part about sharing a sleeping bag with four DG. <laughs> a medley of body order or too many putters? I'm sharing a sleeping bag? <laughs> Sleep with his putters, maybe. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Maybe that's what causes the body odor. All the putters. Mm. Or they come out of a stinky lake? Or maybe. Looks mm, getting like edged out. Too many putters is the answer that takes it by Whisker Do. Whisker Do, doing Whisker well. Whisker Don't. Whisker Don't mess with them, more like. How to make golf more exciting. Oh, these could be good. Play with discs? Have JVD covered all in a bikini? <laughs> Let me tell you. About, oh, no. <sighs> I've never worn a bikini. I've yet. worn a lot of crazy yet. things. Yeah, I mean, you can throw yet at the end of it. <laughs> yet. I've won a few <laughs> cross-dressing competitions. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Never worn a bikini, though. Yet. All right. Those Play are other stories. This. Maybe it's after-show stories. <laughs> Play with this takes that one down. A rejected section of the King James Bible, the part where Jesus... Into a rave with glow sticks <laughs> or saves par. <laughs> uh, uh, again, both, I think, solid answers. If he threw into a lake, would he just turn it to wine? Yeah. Or, I mean, he just walks over it as Conrad. Yeah, does. I would think he would just part it and then say, no, that's not OB. <laughs> he didn't part <laughs> those. Un- that's Noah. <laughs> uh, nonetheless. I know. Was that Noah that parted? The- no, Noah's in the boat. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I can't remember who parted the sea. <laughs> All right, Johnny Abraham? B takes that Abraham? one down. A good name for a roller der- derby team composed of nuns. Cannonball nun or bad habit? I like both of these. <laughs> okay. A good name for a roller derby team composed of nuns. Bad habit's pretty good. Which one did you pick, Johnny? You I went with mine. Cannonball nun, though. Yeah, I got. I figured it was yours with the pun, actually. So, <laughs> but I still liked it a little bit better than bad habit. I don't understand the bad habit. The name of the things that they wear are habits. The, oh. they're, they're those head things. Yeah, I'm not smart. I'll play the dumb card and take it. What <laughs> Pandora would recommend after playing a One Direction song? Silence, deafening silence, or more cow? Cal- wow, more cowbell. Hmm. Oh, gosh. I think some of the, uh, the, the some uh, of the scent in the uh, basement has now crept into my brain and not allowing well, me to, to think it's or just read. A, just a little methane, probably. <laughs> or a lot. And that is an even split. The smell's gone now, so that's good. That That is good. It's not yeah. totally gone. I mean, it's mostly uh, New high school superlative. Most likely to not do something of significance or hyzer into the lake. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> that's pretty good but yeah again i like both of them moses thank you moses parted the sea god mm, couldn't mm. believe i couldn't think of that i knew it wasn't noah <laughs> <laughs> thank you moses man apparently you need to go back to church mm-hmm. congratulations whisker do you've been just squeaking them out there all your wins are just barely over the edge just enough. So we're going to see who's winning at the end of round two. DG guy was in the lead. Let's see if he stays there. He does, but Johnny V's catching up 500 behind him. Exactly. 
I just have to beat you here. This is it. This is where it's all done. The last Can lash, come folks. Back to get Everybody us. gets ready as we all receive the same prompt. We'll see what it is. It's an acro lash. Oh. So you'll have to uh, come up with something for this acronym. Come up with an acronym for TFJ. Facebook. I'm raffling off some discs that you guys might be interested in. Yeah, what are you raffling off there, Chair? Uh, getting in on the uh, four-time Paul Macbeth zone action, along with some TI zones from a few years ago. Uh, are the TI zones kind of popular right now? Um, not as popular as the uh, four-time <laughs> Z zones. Sure. All right, some of our answers. Throw for J. Trump farts jello. No answer. Total fucking jerk. Tacos for Jesus. Tossing frisbees jerk off. That freaking Johnny V. That fucking Johnny V. <laughs> like a sitcom <laughs> catchphrase. Wow. Uh, All wow. right, everyone. Vote for your three favorite. Award the medals, I think, as it says. Once you take your vote... I like how somebody edited themselves. Uh, are you sure they did, though? Yeah, because this one says total fucking jerk. And this one says that effing mm. wrong in Johnny B. Uh, so, like me, I said total fucking jerk. Oh, my gosh. The potty mouth. I did. I want potty Coming mouth. Coming in strong. Oh, I didn't get any second place votes. No third. No first place votes. I'm definitely losing this one to Terry Miller. Uh, and I am not going to probably win it overall. I didn't get any first place votes either. Damn it. Oh, we're going to tie. We're good. Uh, uh, no, no, never mind. You well, were 500 ahead of me. Now you're going to be 1,000 ahead of me. Ah. <laughs> Wasn't that. Whisker Tacos for Jesus. Tacos for Jesus. That's like an answer man one right there. They're always talking about tacos. And yeah, Whisker Doo's jumping enough. up. He's definitely beating us. Congratulations, Whisker Dude. Where's that? Where's my question mark for him? <laughs> yeah. Hurry up, go back. <laughs> question mark him. Question mark. Him. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, Showing the top answer of the game, Johnny V's slow airplane blade slower downer guy. Very nice work. All righty. Look at that. Well done. Well done, Whisker Do. Whisker do highest average score. Getting the uh, internet accolades, Whisk Smashbox TV internet score. accolade points of the night. Unfortunately, that means nothing. No, it really does mean nothing uh, outside of these few minutes here on the internet. But this is your claim to fame, Whisker do. <laughs> uh, call it your can friends. Only go up from here. <laughs> call, call your friends. Have them tune in right now. And I know Terry's one of them, but mm -hmm, <laughs> don't mm -hmm. call him. <laughs> Uh, congratulations. Nice well work. Done. Tyler says, so far, every acro lash top answer has involved tacos besides the mule one. Good observation. Oh. Store that one for... That's, tacos are winners. Yeah. Store that one for uh, season two for sure. <laughs> Chris Cobb says, ouch, like my rating, it kept getting worse. <laughs> uh, Chris, where might I run into you uh, anytime soon? Probably not for a while, huh? Um, I, th I, I think things are heating up out there, literally, uh, in Arizona these days. I saw a post from a uh, fellow disc golfer who mentioned, yeah, I'm going to go out and get my running and biking in before it's 116 or 123 today or whatever he said it was going to be. Bleh. Yeah. That's hot. Guys, it is. Give you guys. Whisker Dew is my cat, Audio 7887 says. Nice. All right. Well, very cool. All right, guys, I don't know if we have too much more for you here no. tonight. It's, uh, as I mentioned at the top of the show, it's been a lot of fun offering this up. And, right. and I know we keep throwing the, the term season around. I really feel like in the right week or opportunity or with the right collection of people, this could just appear well, on some random night. 
there might be Good. like a, a a special like a christmas special <laughs> like you know in in august or something you don't mm -hmm. we don't know um but i think this is something that we're definitely going to bring back for next off season keep up keep up to date with us not that you have any any problem seeing us every tuesday night but keep talking to some of our pros get them together in some groups maybe see some new faces if we're lucky yeah and like i said earlier i think one of my favorite parts about this happening is not only was it trying to provide a little bit of entertainment while things were especially s slow in the beginning uh, goings of mm -hmm. the year but the fact that we got to see a little bit more of the personalities from some of our players some of our promoters uh, people who work for disc golf companies, other media teams. Uh, we had a lot of them join us uh, throughout the weeks and the various game nights. So just getting that personality and having a little bit of that exposure and uh, conversation to know somebody outside of just their working profession mm -hmm. um, is one of the things that I think was our biggest takeaway, honestly, about this entire thing. Um, also, we very much learned, maybe Ryan's mentioning it or not, but uh, we also learned that um, you know, the, the lowbrow, the toilet humor and, or, um, tacos, tacos, those, those seem to be, uh, winning combinations anytime. So as Johnny V mentioned week in and week out, sometimes the, the crowd was the uh, best way to play to it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or the best thing you could do is play to the crowd. This would be fun. A fun scenario, something like this would be at GBO mm -hmm. at, at a bar. We have a, up on the, some of the screens, we mm. project this, and we'd have everyone in the bar play with us, and we just have some, maybe some pros show up and play along on their phones. I think that could be a really fun, uh, a really fun thing to do at, at, at like a GBO. Not obviously the DD Open where we have mm. limited players, but maybe like something next year at the GBO. I think yeah, that could certainly. be really fun. Yeah, there, there's could be some fun way to incorporate something of that nature. Uh, also, I'll, I'll real quickly uh, throw out the idea, and I never really got to it Tuesday, even though I said we would, and I didn't. Um, one of the things that I would like to personally take on as a task, and it's it's definitely not as wild and crazy as this, but uh, sometime in the next few weeks, I am hoping to interview and talk to all, well, as many as that want to, but potentially all 16 of the PDGA board candidates. And that's something I'll probably just post to Facebook. I'll go live there and then offer it up. Some people can uh, follow along. I don't have set days or times, but we're going to keep it on Facebook so that, it, you know, it'll always be accessible for people to go out and watch or listen to. Uh, I know the PDGA is, uh, is also already talked about doing what they've done in the years past, which is do some form of an interview with the exact same questions and then have all the candidates answer it in their podcast format but and i think that's great and i think you should watch or listen to that um but i like the idea of also doing it to kind of have that uh, that face to face mm -hmm. interaction and again i'm probably not going to ask the exact same question of every single person and it's just going to be a little bit more free-flowing and a few of the candidates i actually know a lot better than others and so I, i'm sure that will help gauge and shape and mold the conversation as it goes but that's something else that's going to be content that we'll put out there um is it the end of june or the end of july that the uh the voting takes has to be in by no idea that's something else i'll figure out <laughs> but um anyway i just wanted to throw it out there i, I i'd been uh, thinking about it and rather than trying to do it on our podcast and then not being able to get that's, everyone in yeah that's the problem with the podcast is trying to bring in 16 we have 16 people this year and you know everybody knows us we're not our our questions and interviews wouldn't be short now we'd have to bring a couple of them in at a time or something but i think that better off would be just something like terry says bringing them in individually being able to talk to them for 10 or 15 minutes just get a general idea and feeling for their platform and stuff like that yeah exactly and that's something like i said that i'll probably be almost in a rapid fire kind of thing that i want to get through uh, all 16 of them within a week or two time frame. Well, the and first with the, question. The format of the podcast obviously doesn't necessarily uh, lend to that. The first question should just be how much money are you going to give Smashbox? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, if they don't. That's ultimately. It, yeah. And then, if And if they hesitate or stall, like I just did just at all. Cut them off. Just, yeah. Like, cool. All right. Next. Oh, <laughs> looking for funding. <laughs> click. <laughs> uh, 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 also, tomorrow night uh, is the disc golf. Pro Tour rewatch. I believe that it is Nate Doss in the 2017 Green Mountain Challenge. Uh, I'll be running that behind the scenes. So uh, I took that off Mo's hands this week and last week. 
actually. So if, if you're if you're interested, I think it's out there under the Disc Golf Network. Go ahead and tune in, and you're going to get a chance to see Nate Doss kind of relive one of his better one of his better victories out there. Absolutely. Other than his world championships. <laughs> oh yeah, he's got those as well. But he's got a few. He's got a few of them. Yeah. Uh, it's not like he's in the Hall of Fame, though. Yeah, like his <laughs> like wife, his wife is way going. better than him. Jeez. I guess so he was one championship short. <laughs> <laughs> Should have tried harder, Nate. <laughs> Should have tried to win Worlds one more time. Oh, oh my brutal. goodness. Brutal. Yes. Uh, and, and really to wrap this up also in the fact that uh, we, we just want to thank all of you uh, who have tuned in throughout all these weeks, whether it's our Tuesday night podcast or here for the Thursday night game nights. Yeah. Um, yes, we, we can chuckle and laugh and entertain ourselves, but hopefully, uh, we've provided a, a little bit of entertainment for you. And without you, uh, we would just be laughing in the weirdest way on our own, like we do during our regular phone calls. So, yeah. uh, we do appreciate you guys, uh, for being here. We know that disc golf media is also getting more and more, uh, plentiful, bountiful, um, so much media, abundant. There. Uh, in so many people doing different things uh, and to all of them we wish everybody the best of luck uh, we continue to see more podcasts more uh, kind of off the wall uh, vlogs and interviews and things that are happening and ways for people to reach out and connect and it's great to see so I think there is a style for just about everyone out there and so uh, depending on whatever content it is that you want to consume Ryan Hunt's, Ryan Hunt says he's been here since day one and for that, Ryan, we love you more than most. Yep, we do. All right, guys. This has been Smashbox TV game night number nine, unofficially the season finale of game night. We look forward to doing more of these. Maybe we'll have some additional uh, opportunities in the future with or Jackbox or with some other games, games or and some yeah. other things to do. So we look forward to doing those and providing those for you uh, so that you can join us. For Johnny V, Terry Miller, the Disc Golf Guy, we're signing out. We'll see you next time when you step inside the Smashbox.